If you have a scroll button mouse, then if you move the scroll towards the screen, it is going to zoom into the screen. If you move the scroll towards you, it's going to zoom out. When you hold the scroll button down, the cursor changes into a hand sign and you can move objects around the screen without zooming in and zooming out. So you could just move things away when you don't want to see them or bring them back on the screen. So scroll towards the screen and zoom in. Back away towards you, zoom out. Hold the scroll button down and drag is going to drag the objects around. If you don't have a scroll button mouse, you can switch to the view tab here and these are all your zoom options you can zoom back zoom forward there is a drop down menu here for all the zoom options that you have you can zoom in you can also zoom out if you want to see everything back on screen at the same time you can go to zoom extends and it will zoom everything back onto the screen if you're using your laptop, hold the control key down and use your touchpad. It'll zoom out. When you scroll the touchpad towards the computer screen, it'll zoom in. We created a square using the line command and the direct distance entry method and we had the ortho tab on. Now say you had angles. Okay, you have uh, you want to draw lines at 45 degree angles. Well, then the ortho command here is not going to help because it's only going to draw straight lines. The other option that we have is called polar tracking. Now, when I click on polar tracking here, and the keyboard shortcut for that is F10, and go back to my line command and start a line, it goes back to going all around the corner. And every time, if you notice on my screen, when I'm moving my mouse, it gives me a little display of how many degrees I'm moving. So. I'm at 80 degrees, I'm at 130, 119, 123, but every time I hit 45, it locks and gives me a green line there that tells me there's your 45 degree angle. Okay, by default, CAD is set up to 45. If you have a project that has a lot of 45 degree angles, you're in luck because it already has set up. So you can click and it'll draw a line perfectly at 45 degree angles. If you want to be very specific, and you want to draw a line, I'm going to erase this, that is, let's say, 4 inches wide along the 45 degree angle. So I'm going to start the line command, click to start the line, and there it is. It's snapped onto 45 degrees, and I want it to be 4 inches. All I have to do is move my mouse in that direction, make sure I see the green line, which is telling me that it's at 45 degree angle, and then type 4 for 4 inches and now I have a line that is 4 inches wide in the 45 degree angle. If I want to go another 45 degree angle that way, do the same thing, move your mouse towards that direction you want to go, make sure you see the green line there which is going to tell you that a cat has snapped onto 45 degree angles and then type your dimension. Say we wanted this to be 5 inches. And I'll keep doing this, it will snap onto 45 degree angles in any direction you go. Okay, and it will give you that green line. Which is, so it's going to give you perfect 45 degree angles. Now, say you have a project that has, I don't know, 35 degree angles. What do you do? It's very simple. You go down here on the polar tracking button, right click on it, and you have all of these options by default. If you don't like these options and you want to add your own, there is no 35 here. I want to add a 35 degree angle. You go to settings, and then change the angle here to 35 and click on OK. Now when you start the line command, click line, it will snap to 35 degrees in any direction wherever you go every time you fi it finds it. And it will tell you I have snapped to 140 or I have snapped to, 130, uh, to 35 and so on and so forth. So depending on the nature of your project you can change the settings. If you have angles, you use polar tracking. If you have precise perfect 90 degree angles you use ortho okay I am going to erase this everything that's on my screen so I'm going to do control A and delete now CAD will continue drawing lines it will continue drawing lines how many other times you want when you want to stop drawing all you have to do is hit enter now after you stop drawing say you want to pick it up from this point again 
A very nifty tool that CAD has is called O Snaps, which is like the sixth or the fifth icon here, right next to the polar tracking option. It's called Object Snap, and the keyboard shortcut is F3. When you want to start drawing something again from this corner, you want to make sure your Object Snap is on, which means it's a blue, the button down there is blue, and you sort of take your mouse close to that end. Notice what's happening, okay? When I'm far away, nothing is happening. When I sort of hover closer to that end, I see a green box, and then I see a little text string that says Endpoint. What CAD is doing is it's snapping on to the very, very precise end point of that line, and when you click, it will start drawing a line from that specific end point. It will also let you draw perpendicular, which is what this is. It will also let you draw something called as the nearest point, okay? Um, it will also let you draw from one end point to another end point. It will also let you draw from one end point. I'm trying to find a midpoint, but it will also let you, there we go, the triangle is a midpoint. So for each point on an object, it has a different symbol, and it will give you a little text string on the screen that tells you what it is snapping onto, okay? So it will snap onto, for instance, the end point. It can also snap onto the nearest point. It can snap onto the midpoint. It can also snap onto the perpendicular, which is right here. And it will tell you what it's snapping to, which is very nifty tool. It will help you draw everything very precisely in CAD. So the line drawing, also the line command can go on and on and on. If you want to end it, you hit enter. When you want to re-pick it up, all you have to do is go back to the line command, make sure your O snaps are on, and sort of hover close to the line from where you want to restart your drawing. Now, at the end of this tutorial, there's going to be a little activity that I'm going to walk you through so you can practice all of these commands. 